Hey guys, this is here, and today we're going to be uh, talking about the whole, like, um, oh my god, I just witnessed a birth? <laughs> I think of a baby villager over there, Jesus. Um, we're going to talk about the fucking um, attractive woman discourse <laughs> in video games. This is something that I've seen happening on Twitter um, around, like, the Stellar Blade game where, like, some people are mad because they think it's bad that there's, like, an attractive woman as the protagonist it's i i mean my my broad take is i don't really care um like if there is an attractive woman as the protagonist i think it's fine if people like want to have just like gooning sessions uh to the to uh while, while they're playing the game I, like I, I think it's fine if they want to if they want to do like the one-handed playthrough because their other hand is busy uh with uh with with other activities i just don't care like i think it's like whatever who cares <laughs> um and i do think it is like kind of bizarre that like a bunch of like games journalists are like weirdly against it because it's like weird because are, are these people not like like sex positive like you would think that you would think that they'd be okay with this it's I don't know. The whole thing is weird. Well, well, but I guess I won't preempt it too much. We'll see whatever Melanie Mac uh, has to say about it. Gaming journals continue to be offended by beautiful female video game characters. Oh my and gosh! And this time, IGN France gets ratioed and Ooh. has to backtrack a little bit for attacking Eve from Stellar Blade, a big target. Oh, what? She has a name? Ha <laughs> She's only an object to me. Target <laughs> from the gaming journos and the haters of beautiful women. <laughs> so. Uh, I hate all women, both the beautiful ones and the ugly ones. Here we have coming to us from Bounding Into Comics, IGN France scrambles to backpedal after writing off Stellar Blade protagonist Eve as a doll sexualized by someone who has never seen a woman. I just want to know, has this journalist never seen a woman? Do Ooh. they not recognize that beautiful women do in fact exist? But even beyond that, are we not allowed to have stylized characters anymore? Is this where we're at in games? Which kind of is. Oh my gosh. Where we don't see the same stylization in video games as we used to with stuff. Everybody, almost everything mainstream feels like it has Jesus. to be realistic. But even with the realm of realism, there are real beautiful women that exist. That they continue to uglify their face scans and bodies and all of that in these games. I will say it is interesting that like... I don't know. I feel like, honestly, I feel like both sides of the conversation are kind of stupid. Where it's like... <laughs> where it's like, I think that the journalists are, like, um, upset. Or, or, or stupid where they get upset over, like, pretty pretty women. But I also think that, like, on the other side, like... I feel like it's also fine for there to be, like, an ugly woman <laughs> in a video game. Like, I don't... Like, uh, I think a good example is the fucking... Uh... Oh, my God uh about no not avowed what's the what's the fable there's like the fable lady let me let me pull her up actually but she's like by the way i don't even, i don't even personally think that the character is ugly um she just doesn't look like a supermodel um but yeah let me let me pull her up and like you do get like the on the other side i think people like weirdly upset about it um fable lady I, what, is that gonna pop up <laughs> Uh, no, I don't want the old one. Um, maybe if I just type in Fable, will that pop up? I'm looking for her, this, this lady. Um, yeah, like people get upset because they're saying that she's like ugly, which I don't even think she's ugly. I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong. They're definitely like unflattering <laughs> frames of her, but. I don't know, like, I think here she looks fine. Um, let me see, are there other... Are there other frames? Maybe. Yeah, like, on the left here, I think she looks fine. Like, I don't know. 
like I like I I also like it from the perspective of like because I, again I don't know I've never played a fable game but from what I got from the trailer, she seems it, it seems like she's gonna be kind of like a like a peasant character kind of, so I don't know I think it makes sense that she wouldn't be like a like a supermodel right. Like I think the Stellar Blade lady, she's like an android or something. Um, so I don't know. Like I, I don't mind it from that perspective. So it's like I personally think that if you're like against like super hot characters, I think that's just weird. Uh, that's like weirdly puritanical. And but if you're also but if you're also against the like ugly characters or in this case just kind of like like normal looking characters right like just she kind of just looks like a normal lady i also think that that's like weird and like at that point you're not exactly beating the <laughs> the 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 like port addict allegations because it's like if you need if you need a video game character to be like super hot that is weird <laughs> like i don't i don't know like like i don't know for me personally like i'll play the fable game if it's fun and then I'll just jack off to some porn later. Like I don't, I I don't need to get that from my games. Um, so it I don't know. I I, I do think to some extent, like, like uh, like both sides of this conversation are are like weird. <laughs> like I I don't I don't I I I don't like anybody involved here. <laughs> but Stellar Blade is not the case of that. So let's go ahead and read this, and then I wanted to kind of share some other stuff. Uh, relating to the topic all right so in the latest example- well, yeah because it's also like um i think she was bringing up earlier that like uh, like, well i guess there's like a conspiracy right that um that developers are like they're, they'll take like the actresses that aren't as ugly and then they'll make them uglier but again it's like let, let's say that they are doing that right on purpose like in order to defend stellar blade She's like, what's wrong with stylized characters, bruh? What's wrong with like artists uh taking a taking a person and just making them making the character in their own design, bro? Like why are you against that, bro? And then in the next breath, she's like complaining about she's she's complaining about the exact same thing just in the other direction of attractiveness. So, I don't know. I don't know that any I, I honestly like I feel like very few people have like a good head on their shoulders. <laughs> surrounding this whole thing well of the western video game uh press having a chip on their shoulder when it comes to media created not just by japan but apparently an east asian nation ign france has found themselves scrambling to defend themselves after writing off stellar isn't this incredible content i'm reacting to somebody reacting to an article and you're making your own real life content by watching the video. Isn't is it isn't this wonderful? Lead protagonist Eve, despite being based entirely on the real world appearance of an actual female model, of being nothing more than the sexualized fantasy of someone who has never seen a woman. Okay. <laughs> The French arm of the video game news outlet leveled their accusation against Stellar Blade's artistic direction on March 27th as part of their preview of the South Korean character action title. Following a brief overview of the game's post-apocalypse, Humanity Must Fight for Survival premise, the outlet's Ben Osala took a detour to share his protestations against Eve's sexually appealing character design. All right, so he says, the design of the game, in particular, its character, highlights an obvious bias, wrote Osala. Dude, is this a man? Ben? Why is it the male feminist, bro? Like, why? Insufferable. I'm telling you, male feminist. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> there are, like, I feel like these people do exist, <laughs> if I'm being honest, like male feminists that like weirdly like are just trying to get in people's <laughs> like trying to like attract like female feminists that is that is a weird thing I, or i mean that is a real thing um i don't know if it's necessarily this guy but uh it, it is interesting 
feminists hate women. I, I haven't seen anybody hate women like a male feminist. Uh, but this doesn't surprise me. Also, what we're seeing, and I've made videos on this and talked about this time and time again with the video game characters and them defeminizing the female characters, is they really want to blur the lines between male and female. And they want to create these androgynous characters. And in the case of women, they want to make them manly looking. And it's very odd. Uh, so, okay, let's... I think that, I think, I think her take there is, is, is the most odd thing. Like, I'm not going to lie. People complaining about ugly video game characters has done far more uh, <laughs> to, like, promote uh, gender ambiguity than a trans activist could ever dream of doing. Like, when people are saying that Aloy from Horizon Zero Dawn looks like a man... What even is gender? I I'm I need I need to get Matt Walsh in here because I have no fucking idea what a woman is. Like, in what universe is this a man? Even if we're gonna look at like the un like the the picture that people bring up to call Aloy ugly, in what universe is this a man? <laughs> this is not a man. <laughs> like. I it, it is and I know and I understand that she Melanie Mack didn't specifically bring this uh didn't bring this example up, but I've heard people say this. <laughs> Let's continue. Per an English translation of his piece provided by this article's author, we're going to beat up the alien, but if we can do it while pleasure I, uh, I, I personally, um, protest that she's not reading this in a French accent. Um, I don't know. I think she could be, uh, she, she could be handling her content better, but, uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll let her do it uh, um, however she wants to, I guess. Measuring the eyes of the men, that's a bonus. <laughs> And the result doesn't really work, he continued. It's not new, and other games have made the choice to highlight the assets of their female characters, but where Bayonetta bears an iconic character design, or 2B from Near Automata, inspired by an entire generation of cosplayers, Stellar Blade's Eve is just boring, a doll sexualized by someone who has never seen a woman. I find this a really odd take. I don't see Eve... Um, I mean, I think that's... that. That could be, like, a valid opinion, right? If you genuinely just think that it's a boring character that has, like, literally nothing to offer other than being um, hot. I mean, that is... That could... To be fair, like, I haven't played the Stellar Blade demo, so I'm not, I'm not like... Um, I'm not saying, like, one way or the other. But, I mean, if we're going to be... If we're going to be charitable, that could be a valid perspective. Um, and I mean, if he's saying that he likes like a character like Bayonetta, I mean, that could also like point to the possibility of this guy not necessarily being against like hot video game characters. So I don't know. That's just kind of an interesting thing to point out, I guess. Eve's character design is boring or forgettable or anything like that. She definitely has a very unique and beautiful appearance. And she's got like... I mean, I don't know if it's unique. Like, tall. They made her... Her body while curvy. It's not like that same cookie cutter body type that you would see in something pornographic, for example. I actually think the art artist did take some creative liberties with her design and with her body because even though she was scanned after a real mom i'm gonna be honest i don't um i don't think i necessarily uh know enough about about the corn that she's talking about <laughs> to know if this design is unique <laughs> model who is very tall uh, and has the, or at least appears very tall, and has the proportions, they still made her not look exactly the same. Uh, and she, I think they really did give her a, this is, this is what I like to see in video games, this is where it's like a stylish, stylish approach. A cool art style that's not... Yeah, sorry, this is just, I, 
like I am just I, I do feel like I should probably just point this out like um like a, a, people people do seem to just have that um the contradiction of uh it's only okay to change video game characters if you make them hot <laughs> or like sorry it's only okay to not be faithful um to the appearance to the appearances of actors unless you're making them hot then it's okay to change them um which is which uh, by the way that's like i guess not te technically not like a like you can have that perspective but but then don't act like you d don't act don't act like a character being hot is isn't something that you deeply care about because obviously it is you know what i'm saying right like like at that point like when somebody says like oh you're 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 you just want to jack off to the character and it's like at that point just own up to it and be like yeah goddamn right and what like that should probably be your response you know direct one for one realism uh so yeah i'm i'm not seeing anything forgettable here i think if this character were just forgettable and only eye candy and that's it or only this cookie cutter design that we've seen a million times over i don't think it would be getting the attention that it's getting right now all right so let's continue reading the art to be fair i think the on, i honestly think the main reason it's getting attention is because of like games journalists being weirdly puritanical about it and getting mad about it <laughs> like if people like if people were just normal about it and they weren't getting upset i don't know that I don't know that this would be a game that would be gaining as much traction as it has. Because, I, I mean, I don't know. Like, I, maybe I'm just... Maybe I'm off base here. But, like, I've seen gameplay of it. And it doesn't look particularly fun. Like, it looks weirdly slow. Um, and it, it, it just doesn't look particularly interesting. I remember... I think it was during a PlayStation, like, um, like showcase thing where they initially showed it off. I was like, I don't... I didn't find the world particularly interesting. Um, so, like, I, I, I do think that the main reason why it's getting traction is because people are just acting weird about it. Article, unfortunately for Osala, even the briefest of internet searches regarding Stellar Blade's development reveals that his complaints are based not in any real world fact, but rather his own personal hangups to start Eve's designer, game director, and CEO of its publishing companies, Shift Up, Hung Tae Kim, has definitely seen a woman before, as evidenced by the fact that he's currently married to one. Also, she's a beautiful woman who he's married to. I don't get these same arguments that people, uh, for some Yeah, I don't know. That's also just, like, a weirdly, like, it, it's just an unnecessary dig, right? Like, even, even if even if the guy was like a incel virgin guy it's like is designing this character like grounds to like make fun of him for that right cuz uh, cuz obviously it's it's good for him that um that people can like clap back at the at the IGN journalist being like oh well he's actually married to a beautiful woman bro so fuck you bro but like if he wasn't that wouldn't make the comment okay you know like it's just aggressive for no reason reason they just don't like to see attractive characters and i pulled up right here which you can see in another tab like dude i've got devil may cry 5 we have v here here is honestly this entire games cast if you want to talk about okay wh where's the stellar blade for for the the female gaze <laughs> that would be devil may cry 5 you got dante you got nero you got v you have virgil they were all very attractive characters in this game like they did that they sure. did that so it's not like we don't see the we don't see male characters portrayed in this light we do granted they also yeah there are like plenty of attractive people <laughs> in plenty of games um like yeah i don't i i honestly i like i feel like i'm, I'm normally pretty good about being able to like analyze where 
share these types of like controversies and opinions like come from like where the root of them are i just don't understand like i don't understand why uh, like quote on quote unquote like woke people or progressive people and like i guess specifically progressive like games journalists I don't understand where this, like, bizarre puritanical um, perspective comes from. Because it's like... Like, it feels like a couple of years ago, we were all thirsting over fucking Lady Dimitres Dimitrescu, Dimitresi, whatever, the Resident Evil tall vampire lady. Like, what... I, I don't know. Like, what What happened? <laughs> it's It's so... It really is just bizarre. Like I, I, I sincerely don't have an answer for that. I, I don't know. I, I don't know how it, how it happened that, like, we have a conservative Christian in Melanie Mack, who, I assume is like anti porn and like anti OnlyFans. Uh, I could be wrong about that, but she's the one defending the like the booba game. What happened? How, how did how did how, how did this happen? It's so weird. Beautiful female characters as well, but yeah, it's just like and obviously this isn't a game just for women. I mean, more men are playing it. I mean, more men play video games in general of this nature. I know. Yeah, quite frankly, women need to get out of our hobby. They want to act like. Oh, but women, there's a bunch of women gamers. There's this many. The statistics show this. Well, they're counting like Candy Crush and stuff like that. But I mean, it counts. Uh, you know, honestly, um, I mean, that that is like another interesting conversation of the fact that it's like people will like dismiss it because it's Candy Crush. But it's like those are games. Those are gamers. I don't know. Like, I don't know, like, does, um, like my, like my sister, she's like really into fucking Monopoly Go. Okay. Maybe, maybe they should be making a sexy Monopoly man. Maybe, maybe they should be uh, paying attention to that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, but yeah. Although shout out to my sister. Cause she like last year. She, like, weirdly got into, really into, like, Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. Where she beat Breath of the Wild. I, I think she fell off of Tears of the Kingdom. Because um, I think she's a teacher and I think school started. But shout out to her. She, like, she she beat Breath of the Wild. Like, I, I never, I never in a million years could have ever, like, possibly imagined that she would beat Breath of the Wild. <laughs> like, that's just never something that I ever would have thought of. Um, so I don't know. I, I think, well, I think, I think as time progresses, like, I think we'll event, I think, I think women will probably get more and more into video games, but I also don't think that you need to like change things necessarily in order to appeal to them. Like, I think they'll probably just, I like, I, I think that women will like probably play the same games that we're playing now. And, you know, I think that we play like probably like if you were to make a game like you know like horizon with like a female protagonist i think that guys obviously play that as well and we don't just make good games and i think i think that's really all all you need to worry about if you're talking about uh but still even so it's just like okay surprise surprise people like playing as attractive characters this is why you see like japan for example they tend to do this better than the West right now, the West is uglifying their characters. They're trying to make characters all across the board less attractive. But that is not the case at all with uh, some of these other companies in. Um, I mean, I don't know. Like, I, this is one of those things where it's like. Like, people will say this, but it's also like. That didn't hurt the sales of Spider-Man. I mean, I don't know. Uh, like people will talk about like Starfield, for example. I don't, I don't necessarily know if, um, I don't know if, uh, 
I don't know if that game actually actually had like ugly characters per se, but obviously that's a game that people like ragged on for being like woke or whatever. Um, but I, I vaguely remember that that was a game that had ugly characters, and it's like obviously Starfield was very divisive. Um, but there were a lot of people that played it. I think. Um, like so. By the way, I, but yeah, I guess I may, maybe that's a bad example because I don't I don't necessarily remember if there were ugly characters in it. Um, but I feel like there was. I, I vaguely remember that being a thing, but. I don't know, like, I'm very familiar with, like, Spider-Man and the MJ situation, and it's like, that didn't stop people from playing that game. So, like, I... Like, I understand that there are obviously, like, a lot of people vocal about it online, and I, you know, obviously I acknowledge that that's real. But does that does that necessarily translate into the real world? I mean, I, I don't know. Um, I also, I, I don't know, I also do just think it's generally just, like, a weird perspective to have. Because... It's just like, it, do we, so, like, we say that people like to play as attractive characters, right? Like, that, that's, that, that's the claim. Why? Like, the, my knee-jerk reaction would be like, well, it's because they're hot, and we think they're hot, and we're attracted to them. And it's like, okay, like, but if, like, if the majority of us playing these games are men, like, straight men then we theoretically are playing, have played the vast majority of, of the games that we've ever played, not being attracted to the main character. So, like, what about, like, a female character necessitates them to be, like, quote-unquote hot? Does that make sense? Like, I don't... I, I just, I don't understand where that perspective comes from. Um, like, it is something that's just kind of, like, a confusing phenomenon to me. So, I, I don't know. Like, I personally, I care about gameplay. I care about the narrative. If you want to make somebody hot, like, sure, go ahead. Um, but it's not, like, the end-all be-all for me. Like, I, I don't know, like, I remember Peter Parker in the first game. I mean, he was kind of in, in the first Marvel Spider-Man game. I mean, if, if we're being real, he was kind of fugly. <laughs> but I, 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 that's just not something that I worried about. Like, if anything, that made him more relatable to me as a fugly man. Um, But it, it really wasn't, like, a, a big factor for me. And then, like, MJ. Like, MJ in this universe, she's not a model, so, I, like, I'm fine with her not being, like, the most attractive character. Um, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's, it's something that I'm, I'm not, like, I'm not trying to, like, in, uh, like, deny people's experiences. Because, obviously, people do feel this way. All I'm saying is that I personally kind of can't relate <laughs> to it. Like Japan, or or in this case with Stellar Blade being Korea, uh, Korean made, I believe. Now, do I think that there are? Uh, I think there still are some degenerate people that exist. Let's be real. We've seen, we've seen them post their Rule Thirty Four crap and all that, and a bunch of the like furry types people a bunch of people even with like overwatch fan art that draw really gross stuff sure and so yeah but okay there... hold on hold on hold on okay so she's coming out and she's saying that she's against like the overzealous stuff based on everything that i've seen about this game about stellar blade this is a game that is that like, maybe, maybe the writing is super good and maybe the main character is super interesting on her own. Maybe that's true. I'm not, I'm not saying it's not. I haven't played the fucking game. But, based on everything that I've seen, whether it be the booba jiggles, the ass physics, <laughs> um, like, the, the cinematography of it, of it all, the way her, the way she moves... This is a horny game explicitly appealing to the Rule 34 people of the world. Like, that's what the game is. So, I, I I, don't know. I don't know that I really... I don't know that I really appreciate Melanie Max, like, 
version of history here that like stellar blade is like this innocent game and that oh no it's all super like artistic and it's all for like this the this creator is really trying to say something here and make a super compelling game it's it's not like you're you're being weird making it hyper sexualized it's like no that's what the let's let's let, let's let's operate in reality here that's what the game is <laughs> like that is what it is if you want to defend it that's fine i i personally would defend it like i i think it's fine that they that this is the game um that, that the game is what it is like i don't i i don't care if you know people want to make their horny games and if people want to play their horny games um but yeah let's just be honest about what the let's just be honest about the fact that horny game is horny There's some degenerates who exist and want to uh, turn everything at pornographic, yes. But I don't think that wanting attractive characters is that case. And the people who give us pushback for wanting characters to be attractive and aesthetically pleasing to look at are the same ones who are all about that sex work is real work. They, they, they're the ones that are telling women... It's empowering to have OnlyFans and things like that and this weird stuff. And not only that, but they're the ones that are, like, looking at all this queer pornographic art on Twitter and crap. So, anyway, but speaking of, of this topic in terms of graphics, attractive Yeah, I, again, that, this, this is... This is the weird dichotomy that I just... I, I struggle to explain. She's, like, judging people... For looking at OnlyFans and corn, as she would say. I don't... I I honestly don't... I've never read the YouTube Terms of Service. I don't know if it's necessary to say corn instead of porn. I, I have... I honestly have no idea. <laughs> um, She's, like, judging people for looking at OnlyFans. But she's like, why are you... Uh, but then she's like, but see, uh, Stellar Blade, this isn't... This isn't uh, cornographic. This isn't the same thing. And it's like... Honey, Obvi like obviously there's no like penetration or anything like like I, I obviously there's like a there is technically a difference, but it's like pretty sure that like most like or like a lot of OnlyFans content, like OnlyFans content isn't necessarily like explicitly pornographic. Pretty sure a lot of it is is what Stellar Blade is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, like. And, 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 like, I'd just be super curious to hear her answer. Like, as a conservative Christian, if, like, if someone opened up an OnlyFans account and it was just, and her, and her or his, or his content, <laughs> you know, it, gotta, gotta be inclusive here. Um, <laughs> if their content was only, like, what Stellar Blade is, like, if it only ever rose to, like, that level. Would she not have a problem with that? Like, I'm, I'm genuinely curious about about what her answer would be because it is it, it is fascinating that you have like super progressive games journalists like the IGN article where they're like, this is too uh, this is too hot. Uh, people are too horny. Blah 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 blah. Anyways, uh, se uh sex work is real work. Uh, OnlyFans is based. Blah 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 blah. And then you have this lady. A conservative Christian that's going, what are you talking about? Stellar Blade? That's not fine. That's not too horny. What, what, what are you yapping about? Also, by the way, also, by the way, sex workers are all fucking sluts, you OnlyFans whores. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? Like, what, like, what, what is happening here? I don't understand it. <laughs> I made this post yesterday because I got a PS3. I got a backwards compatible PS3. Before Shopify, were you wondering where my sales at? But now you're selling with Shopify. You're easily selling online, in person, and beyond. Discover how millions of entrepreneurs use Shopify to ignite their selling. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash YouTube audio. PS3 so I can play like a bunch of the old games that my brothers and I collected. I am the holder of the PlayStation 
uh, of our PlayStation collection. They're holding the other stuff, uh, but I am the holder of our PlayStation collection. So uh, I brought my PS3 to our parents' house and we um, played some PS3 games. Uh, some of our old PS3 or PS2 games. Um, and here we had Folklore. And it just made me... I'm looking at the cutscene, at the intro, and the game, and the characters in general. My brothers and I were like, wow, this looks fantastic. Or my, my younger brother and I were playing this one. And we're like, this looks better i like this Should art I? style better than most of what we get now and <laughs> where, what inspired this tweet is that ps3 graphics were a lot more creative i think this oh. style looks so much better than most modern games that just focus on face scan. by the way i uh I, I am building a mob spawner so that's it, i'm not just building up here for fun hands <laughs> and realism this is stunning so okay i was about to check out what this looked like i mean is that stunning? <laughs> I don't know why you would. Is there not a better better example of a game to describe as stunning? I don't know. This also, I don't know. This sounds like a fake story. I'm going to be real. I'm going to be real. I don't know that. Like, you're telling me that your your brothers saw this shit. And they were like. This looks so good. This is look how incredible this looks. This looks so much better than Horizon Zero Dawn. I'm like, wh what? <laughs> if you say so, I, I don't know. Well, as you can see here, I mean, I just like this so much better. <laughs> I don't like games that just what? do these realistic face scans i know i talked about devil may cry and they did face scans or even stellar blade they did body scans on her but they still make it look stylish they still add a style to it they don't make it look they don't make it try to try to make it look super realistic i don't like realistic art styles i just i just don't um, i mean i think i think any art style can be pretty or it can be ugly um i don't know i think realism is cool because at that point, um, at that point, you just have to like be more creative about making it look pretty, right? Like when you look at like a Naughty Dog game, like The Last of Us is objectively beautiful, or not? Sorry, not objectively beautiful. Um, nothing is objectively beautiful technically, but like I don't know. Like if you just like look up The Last of Us Part Two, um, I don't know, like, you look at this. Like, this is just a very well-composed shot, you know? Um, like, when you're... Like, if you're making a realistic-looking game, you just have to then f focus on... Uh, on directing it and creating set pieces uh, using, you know, cinematography that you might see in a normal movie, right? Like, I don't think any of us are going, like, normal movies are ugly because they look real it's like no like if you have good cinematography you you make it look good um and you know i think like naughty dog games look beautiful i think like horizon zero dawn looked beautiful uh and it's just it's like all about how you like capture the world you know so i don't know but then you know at the same time oh this is like a cool shot uh you know, like you have like the red lighting on on this here. Like it, it, it all just depends on. Uh, this doesn't look like a real, <laughs> a real shot from the game. It's like yeah, this like this shot here of Joel getting his head bashed. <laughs> like this looks cool. You know, this is a really well composed shot here. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Like realistic looking games can look cool. Uh, but I also you know I love shit like uh. Like Tears of the Kingdom or something like that. Like this also looks beautiful to me. I mean, I guess this is technically this is a PS3 game. <laughs> um, yeah, like this shit also looks really cool. Yeah, like I don't know. I, I would never. I would never just say like I hate this broad genre of things. That that's kind of a weird a weird take.
Um, now, there can be some exceptions. You know, something like Splinter Cell does need to... I, I think Splinter Cell does need to look a little more realistic and for what they're going for with that uh, versus something like this. But still, as a whole, look at this. Even because we're looking at CG stuff, but let's even look at, at um, what you see more in engine here. Um, but it's just so much... Look at that just looks which i think this is actually cg2 but still when you see the actual gameplay in engine it also looks let's see the gameplay i don't know get to it really good let's pull that up while i'm here because i don't know i i don't know I, that that game i looks. just love i don't think it looks bad but more gameplay i just i don't know I if that's the game that you go to to be like look how much better this looks than modern games and it's like does it <laughs> it, it looks fine of it okay here's somebody has a walkthrough let me try to pull up all right here we are so here's the intro that we watched here you have looks like they're gonna start with ellen but look at this i like this style so much i just i love this style I'm, I don't I'm happy for you. They're still look boring <laughs> and realistic. Even something like... There are some new games that do a good job with this. Devil May Cry 5, I will always just go on and on singing the praises of how great the art style was for Devil May Cry 5. So yeah, while they modeled the character after a real person, which normally I prefer they don't. I'm not gonna lie. I don't like face scans as much. But in this case, there's still a style to it. Doesn't have that Ubisoft, <laughs> that modern Ubisoft look that looks like trash. I don't like it. Um, But yeah, I mean, this is still very stylish amazing looking games just don't they're not gonna oh my gosh. the problem with trying to make something look as realistic as possible is that video game lighting shadows all that kind of stuff like it's different it's not so sometimes when games try to make their characters look as realistic as possible you do reach some uncanny valley type thing or you do reach a hey because of the limitations of the technology or the lighting or this or that sometimes characters will look uglier than the real counterparts and i just don't think that should be the case i think that uh, you want to be able to tr create attractive looking i mean i don't know if you're like if you if you're going out of your way to like look up the fucking actor that played the thing and then <laughs> and then being like you're not as hot as the other character it's like or you're you're not the the character isn't as hot as the actor. It's like I don't know, like who. Uh, it's like that's your fault. I feel like I don't know. <laughs> like I, I don't even know what to. Like you're making the active decision to do that. I feel like. Characters. There can still be some exceptions where a character can be ugly for whatever uh. role they're playing, but. In general, when we're playing video games, it's an escape from reality. Reality we like to play as very attractive characters. That's part of the power fantasy. It's part of what will make the character seem powerful as well. And and yeah, there's much. I mean, it just depends on what the game is. Like I don't like I don't like this. This I or. I mean, obviously, people can play video games for whatever reason they personally want to play video games, but I, I don't know. I, I just can't. Like, I also just view video games as an art form, and I just don't mind. Uh, I don't mind games to be, like, artistic in whatever way the artist wants to make them, you know? Like, if somebody has a... Yeah, like, if somebody has a reason for why they want to make a character ugly... I feel like it's okay for them to do that. And I don't think that it needs to be turned into a fucking culture war situation that, that they did that, you know? Like, again, I look at the fable lady and to me, it seems like she's like a peasant character. 
And so I think it's neat that she kind of looks like, you know, not not like a like a supermodel. I think that's kind of cool. Um and I think it's annoying that like we can't even like entertain that idea without it being turned into a retarded culture war like shit. I, it's just I don't know, it's it's just really boring. There's more to it than just that. People who play classic Tomb Raider, Lara Croft, myself, she's so much more than just being an attractive character. She is awesome. She's bold. She's rebellious. Uh, so people who really latch on to these characters, they like these characters for so much more. They, they, we want well-written characters. We want dynamic characters. But making a character ugly does not make a character dynamic. <laughs> excuse me okay there we go that's that but anyway there you have it for this video let me know what you guys think in the comments below and if you want me to read the bible to you you can check out my bible channel bible time with melanie mac <laughs> she has a bible channel i'm just so I, it's just so funny that like because Does she does she earnestly not think that like the developer of Stellar Blade sp does she really not think that they that that studio made Stellar Blade to be a horny game for people to jack off to? Cuz I'm just I'm saying like I'm I'm sitting here saying that that's that's like almost 99% sure the case. And I'm fine with that. I I think it's fine to have Gooner games, you know? I think it's fine for people to to try and go for the, the one handed playthrough of Stellar of Stellar Blade. But I But like I do find it weird that Melanie Mac here is I guess from what I'm getting out of this video, and maybe I'm misunderstanding her. What I'm getting out of this video is that she like disagrees or something that she, that she doesn't think that Stellar Blade is a gooner game, <laughs> which it's just a bizarre take. Like that's that's almost just like disconnected from reality. <laughs> I feel like, but uh, but yeah, I don't know. I guess at the end of the day, I think uh, horny games are fine. I think uh, I also think that not horny games are fine. Like if if a developer doesn't necessarily want to make their their character as attractive, I think that's okay. I think and and if you're not okay with that, if you if you think that, you know, video game characters need to be hot then don't get like de super defensive when people call you porn addicted, because that's kind of what that seems like. I mean, I don't know what you want me to tell you, you know? It's like your I you either really only care about the gameplay and the story and the writing. Or you're just kind of horny. I I don't know. Like, I feel like if that's not you, then you probably shouldn't care too much. Like, exactly how attractive the protagonist is. You know? Because, again, I'm just, I'm, I'm just saying, like, I... Me, personally, the, the vast majority of games that I play, because they're all male, they're all, like, have male protagonists... I'm not, a, I, I don't, I, I don't think, I'm not attracted to the, to the guys <laughs> that I play as. I don't know, and I, I extend that same attitude towards the women that I play as, right? Like, like, I don't know, I, I thought the Fable trailer looked funny. So, if the gameplay looks fun, I'll probably check the game out. And it's, I'm okay with it if I'm not, by the way, again, I, I'm using Fable as an example. Actually, I don't know, I think the... I think in most in, in in most frames, right, when you don't just pick out like specific frames where the character looks ugly, I think I think she actually looks kind of cute. I don't know, me personally. Um But that's just not something that I'm going to necessarily be obsessed about. But then but then again at the same time, I'm also fine with this fucking Stellar Blade where it's a fucking Gooner game. Again, I'm I'm okay with the I'm, I'm okay with all of it, but let me know what you think about the situation. Did I miss anything? Did I uh do you have another perspective that I didn't address here? Let me know in the comments down below. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.